guys, welcome back to another episode of Sleeping Giants. Now, in our last episode, we had actually won three games in a row, including the Livecom, finally. And it meant that our league form was looking a lot fresher. If you actually look at the number of games we've won in there, apart from the defeat against Partizan, which just features some utter crap, um, we've done all right. And three clean sheets on the bounce as well, which was starting to look very nice defensively for us. So... In our first game of the month, we wanted to try and continue that vein, and we did against local rivals OFK Biograd. And we were very, very good in this game. Avramovsky picked up a knock, which was very annoying, um, because he was sort of filling in because Savicevic had picked up a knock, which was very annoying. Um, so, But he looks like he's going to be a shoo-in for player of the season, which is kind of cool. Uh, Jovic, who basically started up front in this game because we just had so little options, um, had a great game, I've got to tell you. He was brilliant. Ten minutes in, smashed us in front with a powerful effort from just inside the penalty area. And on 33 minutes, he... <sighs> he rose, like, I don't know how he even won the header, but it was brilliant, and it was 2-0. And by this point, I'm thinking, yeah, okay, we've got this game wrapped up. And it took a little while for us to get the third goal for Alexander Katai. Um Got it basically just as he was about to be substituted. I kind of held off a little bit just because I wanted to try and just, I don't know, I'm just making substitutions a little bit later in games lately, just to see. Um, but Lazovic was able to get in there and make it 4-0, so it was a very, very strong performance, as you can see from the match stats. Six clear-cut chances, seven half chances. We were dominant in this game and thoroughly deserved the win, and a 4-0 win at that, and four straight clean sheets. In our next game, against Radnicki, we wrapped it up. That was, I actually got an achievement for this. Five straight clean sheets. Unfortunately, there were some downsides to what happened in this game, uh, and that is the injuries to Jovic and Antic. I don't think Antic was too badly hurt. But we were so, so good against Radnicki. And we were so close to doing it. I very nearly got my ultimate thing for me, which was to shut them out entirely. Uh, Bosancic put us in front on 11 minutes with a great goal. And then Vukan Savicevic made it 2-0 not long after that. And to show you Vukan Savicevic, he's had an absolutely... What in the name of Christ is happening there? He's had an absolutely stunning season for us. And I've just tied him into a new contract for five years. So that is good stuff. Um... And just as well, because he's been phenomenal for us this year. He's certainly taken towards that uh, attacking midfield role that I've got him playing in now, and he's loving it. Finding plenty of goals. And we were actually 3-0 up before half-time when Georgi Despotovic, that man again, um, who actually hadn't started this one, but obviously had to come on to replace Le Jovic in this one. Um, so we actually finished the game with 10 men after Antic was... But they, they were down to 10 men in the first half and the game kind of played out exactly as you'd expect although we didn't create many good chances in this game they created nothing they had one shot which i didn't see of course because it wasn't a worthwhile thing it was there was one side of the game we played on one but as you can see we're starting to get games like that and that's what we need more of and in the final game which we've just played um this was a bit of a humdinger in a sense i was a little bit surprised actually like vozdovac have not been great this year for so for us to go there and like, we opened them up early on when Georgi Despotovic put two in in the first half and gave us a really decent-sized lead, and I was starting to feel much, much more confident. And plus, with stuff going on elsewhere, things were looking quite good for us. But then, in the space of two minutes, like, literally, goal, no highlight break, and another goal. So Marko Adamovic and Petar Jurikovic just scored twice, and we were suddenly back to square one again. Thank God for Alexander Keita in that second half, kicking in there and getting us the win. And I think we were deserving of the win. It has to be said. We, we were the good side. Did I forget to make any substitutions in that game? Christ. Okay, that might be why. Jesus, what was I thinking? Okay, I genuinely forgot to make substitutions in that game. I think it's because I was leaving it later like I was trying to before, and then I ended up leaving it too late and forgot that I hadn't done it, if that made sense. Christ, I hope that hasn't affected us too badly in terms of fitness. That's stupid of me. Um, which all brings us to here, and I'm going to show you something else. This is the way the league looks at the moment. So, basically, Jagodina are still top. They've just been so difficult to shake. We've won six in a row, and we just cannot stop them at the moment, and it's going to be really, really difficult. But that isn't today isn't about that. Um, our last game of the season is against Donja Shrem uh, at home, so winnable. Their last game of the season, of course, is at home to Borac. And Borac are a decent side, but I just feel like that I just cannot see them screwing it up. Like, we've done everything we can. We've only lost four games all season, plus, you know, scored the most goals, not quite conceded the least, but did have five straight clean sheets at one point, plus 38 goal difference. And it looks to me like, unfortunately, our entire season is going to come down to that one bullshit game where we had nine clear-cut chances and lost the game against them. 
where they scored five, uh, three goals in the last five minutes, uh, two of which were in stoppage time to win the game, even though I, I don't know what happened. Um, but that game looks like it's going to have cost us this entire league because they've just been so, so good and unshakable in all the other games. We're going to finish up our partisan, um, but I just, I don't know. But that's that's for the next episode. Today, we're, it's all about the cup final, and that is going to be a, a belter. And it's actually been played at partisan's ground, interestingly. Um, very bipartisan stadium for this thing. But as you can see, Despotovic has 22 goals in 20 starts, which is pretty damn impressive, I has to say. Um, Assist-wise, Savicevic and Gavric have 13 each. Player of the match, 6 for Savicevic. Pass rating, Kovacevic is right there with 86. Yellow cards, Petkovic with 9. And reds, of course, we've had Planic, Lazic, and Jovanovic. As for average rating, Katai is up there, but... Oh, that's the wrong button. Savicevic is the one. Like, look at that. Uh, I'm pretty certain he's going to win both player and young player of the season, which would be phenomenal for him. Um, so that's all going to basically bring us straight into the next menu. Right, so it's the cup final. And... Oh, they're playing that system. I think we can have a chance against them if we play the way we did in the last game. So where we are pushed higher up... Uh, clearing board of flanks, yep. Yeah, okay. I think that could could work for us. Just make a little change there. I'm also going to... No, we don't want too many instructions. That's just one more thing that we probably don't need at the moment. Obviously, um, Savicevic is missing the game through injury, which is so annoying. But Avramovsky's done okay for us when he's come in, so I'm hoping he can be a hero for us in the cup final. This is important, because I think if we can win the cup final, we might be able to get in their heads ahead of the last day of the season, because at the moment, it could swing either way. We could win it all, or win nothing, or win something. We need to win something, and I'm hoping today is going to be the day that we win something. I, w I don't mind if we do lose, as long as it's not because of some stupid crap. I'd like to, you know, if they beat us fair and square, then fine. But I, I just really don't think they will. I think we've got a good chance today against them. Um, we can only hope. Whew, top scorer in the cup as well, Despotovic, with four goals there too. He's just been unbelievable this season. I've just been so pleased with his performances for us. Also, note out, Freddie Adu plays for Jagodina. Um, <laughs> he's just got a lot. He's quite, scored quite a few goals for them this season, I think. Uh, how many has he got? I have just made a total... Like, the only reason I thought that he scores quite a few goals against him this year is because I was watching a game... Not watching a game, but I was playing one of the matches. It was quite dull, and I was looking at the scores coming in. And um, it was like, Freddie Adu, and then Freddie Adu, and that was his only two goals of the season, clearly. <laughs> That's insane. Right, let's go for this. Um, team talk, yep. Let's get this going. I'm glad Spotovic is fit, because, like, if there's anyone that can get you a goal, it's him. Like, 22 goals in 22 start in 20 starts is unbelievable goal record and I really hope that today can be the day that he's a hero for us and wins us the cup final steal this one out from Jagodino get in their heads before the last day of the season and hope that they screw up on that final day and we can nick the league from them but we do have to win and they do have to lose oh no they can draw as well basically if we win they have to win oh god really really <laughs> five minutes into the game and we're already behind Oh, six wins in a row, and I mean, no, we, uh, just a blip. I'm going to call it what it is, blip. What even happened? It was all flares, that's awesome. Milinkovic just whipped in there, and nobody marked him. Throw-ins are so difficult to defend against. That's one of the things, oh, hello. Maybe a goal from a corner to kind of get ourselves right back in this game. K-tight. Nobody's in that good position to receive this pass. Though. That's the problem. We're going to lose this and get counted, aren't we? Oh, ball across. Bosancic. It is 1-1 here in the cup final. Milos Bosancic. And, well, that lead literally lasted about a minute and a half. And, well, you can't ask more than that. K-tight here. Yeah, it's good presence to actually just whip this in flicked on here and he just gets himself into the far post and makes it one all in the cup final all hope is not yet lost here we're no fair share of headers well you say that but we're doing okay in this game so far it's been fairly even one all and oh that's good nice nice Lazovic can he make a run down the wing can he get a good ball in whips it across to Spotovic oh a one <laughs> and there we go Jagodino one red star Belgrade two take that Put that in your pipe and fuck yourself. Um, let's see. Yeah, I really want revenge on them for the games we've played against them this year, just because we've just been... Those were some of our worst, most unlucky games. Big header from Despotovic. 23rd goal of the season. Can't ask for more than what he's given us this year. But anything can happen. Kato, we need a third goal, really. Ooh, we tell you what. Can you find a good cross? Can? No, not really. Oh, but Kato's maybe another one. Whoops in. Farbos Lazovic! <laughs> 3-1 to Red Star. Where did this come from? 
I can't believe how angry I was when we went behind her. Now we're 3-1 up just 12 minutes later. And, well, if we screw this up from this situation now, I'll be furious. But what about this? Yeah, the ball comes back out. And Keita, I think it's a first-time ball, on the volley, just whips it in there. And Lazovic with the big header. 3-1 in the cup final. And I think, guys, we're going to be getting our first piece of silverware on Football Manager 15. And the first piece of silverware in this series. Um, doesn't mean we can afford to get complacent right now. A fourth goal would, for me, kill this game. Don't let him win that header. Or, or let him win that header. But, unfortunately, the moment... That they start get oh no they're just gonna slide it through and score, oh what a save! That is genuinely the difference between Carriman and our other goalkeeper. Basically, he wouldn't have kept that out. Although he has made some decent saves, but remember what happened in that bullshit game, uh, the the goal that was later than the final whistle, when he just battered it into his own net. Um, but of course that wasn't Harriman. But if we can get a fourth goal, maybe even before half time, that would old. Oh, oh, I thought Despotovic was through there. Avramovsky out to Kato. Kato can run though. Despotovic can he have a shot? Avramovsky knocks it back for Despotovic. Oh, he's lost it. He's lost the ball. We do probably need to close. Oh, oh I expect it will pop up again. If it's that bad, he will get closed down. And big tackles. Come on. Big tackle. No. Oh, that was very, very nearly 3-2. Like, this game could all take a sudden swing if they get another goal. If they get a goal back, it suddenly changes. But I don't want to make any gra drastic changes to the tactics before half time, really, because it's working for us so far. Um... We've got the goals. We've taken our chances. and We've only had one clear cut and scored three goals. Maybe a little bit lucky in that sense, but we're actually looking okay here. They're obviously going to try and throw something at us in this second half, so I need to be prepared for that. Um, but we've done really, really well. I'm massively pleased with that performance. Um, what I might do is, if we don't really have pass into space turned on, is turn it on. Just because... I think we really have it turned on as it happens, though. Yeah, we do. Okay. Um... I might just turn that off to stop us being quite so ponderous at times. Um, since we're not exactly dominating the possession, we're having slightly more, but it might just entitle us to be a little bit quicker on the break rather than trying to work it. Just to be a little bit more ruthless when we when the chance presents ourselves and get a couple more shots in. Because we've got some decent long shooters on this team. Uh, no real team talks needed. Oh, go on then. Oh, if we humiliate them in the cup final, that would be the ultimate way to get in their heads before that final game of the season. Avramovsky, Despotovic. Back to Lazovic, whipped across, and it's saved. And I think that, I don't know what happened there. Is that really the highlight? I didn't really see anything. The keeper caught the ball. I didn't think it was actually a shot because we didn't get a clear cut chance notification or like a. That number didn't change. Oh no, look at the space for Stojanovic. Tackles. Good save from Harriman again. He's been our hero in a little bit, but the goals have gone in the net, and that's all that really matters to us right now. Uh, Keitai has picked up a knot, but we're going to make some substitutions soon. I'm going to go back to my old style of making substitutions. Uh, right, yeah, he does need closing down. I generally make them here. I tried making them a little bit later in some games, and it kind of worked, but I'm still not entirely happy with it. Right, and it doesn't really fit. Who's mm, Who really should I be bringing on here? Uh, Gavrich, really, for Keitai? But Keitai's been so good. Actually, no. Yeah, no, we'll bring Gavrich on for Keitai. Lazovic has been superb. If I could bring on someone for Kovacevic, I would, but I don't want to have to shuffle around there. And, oh, no, that's not wise. Um, I've played Peshnik here one time before. I played him there in our last game. I'm going to give it a go. I really, really wish we had Savicevic. He would be key for us right now. But with 25 minutes to go, we are 3-1 up. Looking good in the game. Everything down here is looking quite tasty in our fa in our favour. So I don't want to see some sudden Barcelona-esque. I, I know they're going to make tactical changes. That's obvious. But I just I got a bit sick of. But like, it's it's kind of less obvious now. But back in the uh, further the older versions of this game, um, in terms of like not years, but like the previous incarnations of the updates or whatever, you'd find that their tactical changes would have too much of an effect almost. So. Every time the computer changed their tactics, they'd suddenly be much, much better than you immediately in every single game, and it was starting to get a bit annoying. Hopefully that isn't going to be the case today. Look at the amount of players they've got four, but we've won it here. Peshnik, can he slip it in? Oh, come on. They've got a lot of players for. We may have to drop a bit deeper if we get away with this play. Um, oh, Buatza, the former Fulham player. Oh, come on! What was I saying earlier about batting it into their own bloody net? I mean, fullback should be tracking his runner, that's for sure. But what about this? Just, oh, what is he doing? Why didn't he just use his hands? It's right at him. Of course. 
bullshit time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay, well, we don't have anyone else that can really play there. Um, we have to do it the hard way. Do we really have anyone else that can even... Basanjic? But then if I... I've got no one here that I can really bring in. Um, I, I guess Strakulers. That's that's the only change I can really make. I don't want to go four, two up top. That's the last thing we need right now. Is even less players in there. But I just oh my god. If they score another goal, I swear to God. Um, right, we may have to. Oh no, I need to go more defensive. But we're just gonna let this highlight play out first. We've got the ball here. The Spotovic. Can he whip that across? Oh, it's not a bad ball. Strakulers. Basanj. Right, okay. Why the hell did he shoot that to the only part of the goal where the goalkeeper would... Like, he's right in the corner. He's got the entire goal away, Matt, and he's put it straight at the keeper. Um, Alright, that's one of their players. Okay, look, let's go um, to defensive and waste some time here. Stop exploiting the flanks. And stop looking for the over -out. I'm just going to drop a little deeper just to get the win. You know, that's what matters right now is winning this game. We were... We deserve it. We've played well. We've got the goals. Just come on. I don't want to... Oh, no. Come on. We've played well. We've taken our chances. That's good. Right, now break. Get, or just pass the ball straight back to them. What are you doing? Boatza. We've got players drop deep. That's a big tackle. That's a great big tackle. What? How did he get the ball back? Right, good. Excellent. Break. Strack will now. Knock it over the top. He's in acres of space here. This is what Despotovic eats for breakfast. It's a poor first touch, actually. He's never going to get in from that angle. Comes back to Basancic. Oh, and blocked there. Wow, we nearly caught them on the break there. That would have been quite something. It looks like it's going to be a 3-2 result to us, but I will take that. And then some, and law. Oh, nine seconds to go here in the cup final. I think we're going to get away with this one. I say get away. We've played very, very well, and I'm massively happy with the performance. There we go. First piece of silverware of the series. We've beaten Jagodina as well, and that is a huge sort of I think I've just, like, exercised my demons a little bit in that one. So there we go, lads. We have won the cup final, and whew, that was quite a game. Whew. Apologies for getting a little bit angry there. That was um quite a stressful one. But we have won the cup final, and that should hopefully keep the board off my back, maybe if we don't win the league. But I really do want to win the league. Ooh, another achievement. Cup glory. I'll have it. Right, so there you go, guys. Um... In our next episode, of course, we've got the final game of the season against Donja Srem, and that's actually seven wins in a row now. We need to make that eight. We need to make that eight. Um, in fact, that's ten wins in eleven matches, which is just phenomenal. And, well, look at the only defeat we've had in so long. I mean, Jesus Christ, we've not... I think we deserve to win the league. It's... Ah, uh, but it's just that start we had where we were sort of ironing out the tactic. You know, the defeat to the Jagodina, the one to Borash, and... Voivodin. Those results are the ones that are going to cost us here. Um, but yeah, so there you go, guys. If you like what you've seen, please feel free to drop a like on the episode. And if you'd like to even more than that, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more Portsmouth and Sleeping Giants in your inbox every single day at 5.30 and 8 o'clock. And I will see you guys in the next episode for the final game of the season against Donji Srem. Can we win the league? Let me know what you think in the comments. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.